Well, Georgia beats the South Carolina Gamecocks 24-14. to uh, Close victory, but uh, nevertheless, Georgia got the victory. And uh, that's all you can ask for if you're a Georgia fan. I'm going to just read the uh, stats. Uh, Carson Beck uh, struggled at first, you know. Um, struggling on some, some passes here and there. Um, if you were to ask him, he'd definitely probably say that he could have a better game than he did. But he did have 35 attempts with 29, uh, 27 uh, completions for 269 yards. Uh, just wasn't able to turn those into touchdowns, though. But uh, definitely some bumps in the road for Georgia's offense. Um, I know uh, their offensive line play, in my opinion, is not up to par uh, what it's been the last two seasons. Uh, they definitely got to fix that. Uh, they definitely got Dejan Edwards back. You know, uh, key cog in their offense. Uh, he had 20 attempts for 118 yards and a touchdown, so he looked really good. Uh, Kendall Milton only has 25 yards. Uh, he definitely has to step up, in my opinion. But uh, the run game, you know, definitely has to pick up, in my opinion, for the Georgia Bulldogs. Uh, just the offense in general, but they did, you know, rally back and was able to pull up, you know, and uh, win the game. So, uh, the receiver, they had Marcus Rose, Rosemey Jack Saint. Uh, he had 71 yards receiving. Uh, Dominic Lovett, 56 yards. Brock Bowers, uh, 84, uh, 54 yards. Um, they just got to get this offense going. You know, I know they don't have uh, Lab McCocky uh, in the game, but uh, Georgia offense just has to pick up. Uh, defense, uh, on the other hand, uh, playing lights out still pretty good uh, they did give up two touchdowns but uh, they settled down and when they was on they was on and um, they was able to uh, put a clamp down on South Carolina uh, offensively South Carolina Spencer Rattler he threw for 256 yards was able to get a touchdown but he also threw two costly picks uh, like I said any quarterback you can't do that and the crazy part about it Spencer Rattler was the leading rusher as well for South Carolina he had 35 yards rushing so um uh, South Carolina feeling the effects of not having um, the running game, you know, uh, being up to par, you know. Um, it just hurts them. It makes them one-dimensional, and they just, you know, able to pass the ball, you know, and uh, makes you predictable. So uh, they definitely got to get that run game going if they want to have a chance to do anything in the SEC this year. Um, but uh, receiving-wise, uh, Omega Blake, he had 86 yards receiving. Uh, Xavier Leggett, he had 71 yards receiving. And Antoine Wells Jr., he had a touchdown with 32 yards receiving. So, um, just in general, now if you really think about it, South Carolina held, you know, Georgia, a great Georgia, you know, of old offense to 24 points. You know, Georgia still has the ability to open up, you know, uh, blow teams out with their offense. They just got to get some things going. But, uh, with all that being said, you know, South Carolina only got 309 total yards of offense. They had 53 on the ground and 256 passing. So, uh, South Carolina got to get a run game going. Georgia, on the other hand, was able to get 458 total yards. They got 189 on the ground and 269 through the air. Very, very good uh, rushing yards. Even though it didn't look like, you know, it was dominant at first in the first half, they definitely came out in the second half and got that run game going. But, I'm pretty sure not to, you know, Georgia's fans would like to have, you know, the run game come out, you know, the first half started running the ball, you know, established the run. But uh, they was able to do it. Uh, they got the victory. And um, we're going to see what both teams do going forward. Uh, that's all I have for the video. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. And I'll definitely be back with more college football content. Thanks, guys, and roll tide.